what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're back here again for me to do my preview and predictions for hell in the cell 2022 uh we will be doing live stream and uh reactions on the main page this sunday so be on the lookout for that all right let's get into it man to be honest with you <clears throat> i'm still a little bit under the weather but uh there's not many matches I'm looking forward to on this particular pay-per-view, but it could surprise me with the outcome and how the matches play out. So we're going to see how things play out. Um, let's start with Kevin Owens versus Ezekiel, a.k.a. Elias. Um, obviously, this is not a match to be taken seriously. Um, it's just something to have fun with. Um, they've Kevin Owens have been... I will say this, he has been making the best of this situation. I think it's kind of a little hokey, but at the same time, they have had some funny segments. So I, I really don't too much care so much about this match, but I do think Ezekiel, AKA Elias, will win this match. This is kind of just a, a one-off. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be a one-off, but I hope it is a one-off. It's just something fun. So maybe they have some fun with it, but I do believe Ezekiel will win this uh, particular match. Next, you have Theory versus Mustafa Ali for the United States Championship. Uh, I do believe Mustafa, uh, Mustafa Ali will lose this match. Theory will retain. They're trying to build him up as more of a credible heel. Um, do I think this will be a good match? I, I think they can put on a good match. I think they're able to put on a solid, enjoyable United States Championship match, so I'm going with uh, Austin Theory retaining the United States Championship and be interested to see if they continue this feud or do they go to someone else. So we'll see how that play out. Then you have uh, Bobby Lashley versus Omos and MVP in a handicap match. Uh, this I think could be somewhat fun depending on what they do with this. I mean, it's a handicap match, anything goes. So it could, it could be some carnage. I think this is not gonna be anything technical. It's gonna be a carnage fest. Uh, I would give the win here to Bobby Lashley. So that way he can get out of this feud and start focusing on something else as a baby face. I, I'm, I, it's, this feud has been, it's cool. It's been okay at best, but I think he needs to focus on something else and move forward. So yeah, honestly, I, I think uh, Bobby Lashley should win this. And we move on. Omos can feud with somebody else uh, with MVP in this corner or whatever. So uh, I'm kind of just ready for this particular feud to be over. But I do think Bobby Lashley will win. At least I hope he does. Um, now, this one could... It, it, this could grab my attention. I'm not sure, depending on how they play it out. But the Judgment Day versus AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Liv Morgan. The one way this match can grab my attention even more is on, obviously, the Judgment Day side of things. If they end up getting someone else, I think this would be cool if, say, you know, they're having a good match and uh, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Liv Morgan is about to win, and then another member comes out. And I hope and pray that the member is uh, Tommaso Ciampa. That would be great. That causes them to get the win so i hope they do something like this um I, I think it would be just nice to enhance what they got going on because you can't really have them lose yet you can't have nobody in the judgment day losing especially on pay-per-view yet you're trying to build them up as something formidable they're trying to recruit i think tomaso champa would be the perfect person to make his surprise appearance joining the judgment day causing aj styles Finn Balor, and Liv morgan to lose here um so yeah i have the judgment day winning and i do have a new member coming out hopefully tomaso champa and then we can kind of go forward with that that program and see what they do with that now a match i'm actually uh am interested in bianca belair versus oscar versus becky for the, uh, becky lynch for the raw women's championship i am interested in this match i do think it's going to be a great match uh, i think all three of these women can go in the ring and i think it's going to be fantastic going to have some nice little matchups and uh, i'm going to go with bianca belair retaining i don't think bianca belair is going to drop the belt until 
she ends up facing Rhea Ripley as a heel in the Judgment Day faction. That's when I think she'll lose. That's when I think Bianca Belair will lose. But right now, I think she's going to continue to hold the championship until Rhea Ripley challenges for that belt. And then once that happens, I think Rhea Ripley will become the Raw Women's Champion in her new heel gimmick. And I think that will work. In my personal opinion, I think that's what should happen. So Bianca will most likely retain in this triple threat match. And then we'll go on and maybe the next few would be Rhea Ripley. Who knows? Or maybe it'll just be a one-on-one -on -one with Asuka. I can see it just being like a one-on-one -on -one with Asuka for her next title defense. And then I can see Rhea Ripley getting involved with uh, Bianca Belair. And the last match of the night, which I'm, I'm sure is going to be the main event match. Cody Rose versus Seth Rollins. Hell in a Cell match. This is a match I am uh, looking forward to. I think a lot of us are looking forward to this match because of what they did last uh, this week on Monday Night Raw. Uh, that brawl was fun and it was entertaining. They have been they've had the best feud going on since WrestleMania on the Raw side of things. Uh, it's it's been enjoyable. And I can't wait to see this match. And I think this is the only, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only Hell in a Cell, uh, Hell in a Cell match on on the card. Uh, yeah, I think this is the only Hell in a Cell match on the card, which I I love because too many times Hell in a Cell has multiple matches on the card, which I. I I, 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 it devalues the Hell in a Cell structure. So this is the only match so far. If they announce any more matches, I'm filming this uh, on Thursday, the day before. Uh, I'm filming this the day before uh, Friday Night SmackDown. So if they announce any other matches, then, of course, we can talk about it in the comment section. But this being the only Hell in a Cell match, this being somewhat worthy of a Hell in a Cell match, I'm okay with it. And you guys already know who I think should win this. I think Cody Rhodes needs to win this. I think you need to just go ahead, give Cody the 3-0 over uh, Seth Rollins because at the end of the day, Seth Rollins can take this loss. He can. He can. I, I, it doesn't make sense for Seth to win, so it'd be 2-1 because Seth will still not get his, you know, his revenge on all his losses. So I think Cody winning makes the best sense. Don't know who that is. Cody winning makes the best sense. Just from a, from a booking standpoint of what you're trying to do, we all know ultimately the goal is to have Cody Rhodes become, uh, potentially face Roman and become the new WWE champion. That's the only reason why he's back in this company, bro. I'm just being honest with you. For people who think, oh, he's not going to be Roman, I'm telling you this now. I'm willing to put some money on it. He's the guy that's going to beat Roman for the WWE championship, not the Universal the WWE Championship, that's why they brought him back. And it only makes sense to have him continue to keep going, momentum-wise, and be strong. So, I'm looking forward to this match. This is going to be a fun match. This is going to be hopefully worthy of a Hell in a Cell. They're going to knock it out the park. And hopefully, we're able to end off a show in such a great manner where we're like, yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to Monday Night Raw just for Cody's what he, what's Cody going to say or what Seth Rollins going to say? I do think they're going to kill it. I do think they're going to knock it out the park. And that is my preview and predictions for Hell in a Cell this year. Uh, like I said, it's kind of a mid-tier uh, um, pay-per-view in my in my opinion. It's, it's not too many things on here where I'm just like, oh, it's must-see. Um, other than the Hell in a Cell and the Women's Championship match and maybe... Uh, judgment Day in seeing who will potentially come out probably to help the Judgment Day or what they do with that. Um, that's that's the only thing that I'm really excited about. Everything else, I'm kind of up in the air. But with WWE, for whatever reason, when they book pay-per-views that are on paper look kind of mid-tier, they end up being some of the better shows. They end up being some of the better uh, matches. So WWE could surprise us. And we could end up with a solid pay-per-view that we a lot of us may think is kind of mid on paper. So I'm willing to give it a chance. So let me know down below 
who do you guys think will win on this match card also you got to join us on live stream man we'll be live streaming on the main channel so be on the lookout for that if you subscribe to the in the clutch page that's where we'll be doing our live streaming reactions this sunday so be on the lookout for that man but i appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace